uh, hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and in this video also so guys as you can see I'm just talk, uh, talking about the topic uh, deploying and configuring active directory certificate services on server 2012 r2 so in this video guys I have taken three topic uh, to discuss with you guys how active directory certificate service support public key infrastructure and active directory certificate service components what are the components and how it is integrated with Microsoft ID a solutions okay so there will be three uh, separate uh, topic in this and uh, please don't go f don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want more updated videos on this if you subscribe then guys you will be having lots of videos as you can see this is my YouTube channel and I have uploaded somewhere around uh, 370 videos on different different technology I'm just continuing with the concept of Active Directory as of now and apart from that uh, there will be a couple of uh, videos for uh, CCNA and CompTIA plus and plus Azure configuration semantic endpoint protection antivirus uh, then Azure as I told you CCNA interview questions how you have to do like other things about 2016 also configuration and lots of things 370 video is not uh, very less so if you subscribe then you can get and if you are subscribing just click keep clicking this bell so you will get your all the notifications like this people are uh, asking me sending comments and also you will be getting all the updated videos here notification if I upload any video so guys till then let me begin this and uh, the very first one is how active directory certificate service support public key infrastructure in this this is what I'm talking about here uh, you have active directory certificate service here okay this is what I'm talking about so let me uh, go through a little bit here so active directory certificate service is Windows Server 2012 R2 role that provides basically it is a role installed on active directory so we can install it on active directory I have two servers here so this went to sleepy mode let me just uh, reset it or let me try this okay it is there so we can install here uh, this is my uh, domain controller or let me try password so I have not installed anything and this is also one server so the all configuration I will be uh, doing here and I will be sharing you guys but before that I'm just going through a little bit theoretical part so you should have complete uh, theoretical understanding also okay and uh, if I go to let me just increase the re resolution of this one for that you just need to go to uh, server manager and from there you can install so I will tell you about all those things in coming videos as well so as of now I'm just telling basic things okay so in this nothing much I'm talking about uh, this video just this is, it is this active directory nothing I have installed as of now simply it is operating system and uh, domain controller so the rest of thing I will talk in uh, next videos so this is what I'm talking about here we need to deploy one active directory authority web enrollment online responder NDES I will tell you what does it mean okay and a couple of other things then it will be a complete package and this is a role basically okay uh, it provides service like PKI services for issuing and managing digital certificates certificate enrollment and certificate revocation so each and everything have their separate role enrollment revo uh, revocation and uh, a couple of things in previous video I have discussed you can go through all the videos small small videos now you have to understand what are the component of Active Directory certificate service here and uh, let me take uh, highlighter here or laser pointer let me take okay so I will take highlighter was this one okay so active directory certificate service components so the, the following are the component in active directory certificate service and each works closely together to form a complete solution so they have their own role just now I told you one is certificate authority CA next one is network device enrollment 
sub is very important if it is down nothing will work in this apart from that online responder sub is certification authority web enrollment support so these are the uh, all you can say components of basic component even if one is missing that active directory certificate service co uh, configuration or deployment will not work now what are the feature of active directory certificate service so the very first one is customize cust uh, customizable or you can customize a certificate template the very first feature key ar archival okay role separation you can give certain roles to certain things okay and certificate manager restrictions delegated uh, enrollment agent restrictions so these are the feature of active practice certificate service now you will understand we will talk about customizable certificate template so what you can do here in this so certificate can be customized for a specific use such as code signing okay template can also be customized for that only specified users can select the template during enrollment and there are three type of template basically version 1 version 2 and version 3 so this version 1 is not customizable uh, version 2 uh, which are customizable under enterprise version of windows server 2003 and 2000 uh, 2008 or 2012 so it should be enterprise version then only you can configure this version 2 and version 3 which are new in windows server 2008 or 2012 and which support cryptography next generation okay this is the latest one and uh, the cryptographic next generation provides supports for new cryptographic algorithms such as the US government should be uh, algorithm so th they are using certain special kind of algorithm okay so in that condition it will be useful or very handy version 3 now next one is next feature key archival so what do you mean by key archival if certificate template is configured to require key archival automatic key arch archival is performed during the certificate enrollment process if it is mandatory kind of configuration during enrollment the private key is securely sent to certificate authority as part of the certificate request and is archived by certificate authority and key archival is required to support key recovery for the key recovery also you require this kind of uh, i mean basically this key archival i will show you how to recover key and this feature is only available on the enterprise and data center edition of windows server 2012 or 2008 so you should have enterprise either enterprise or data center edition now next one is role separation what do you mean by role separation this feature so this features allows this feature allows for role based administration to organize administrators into predefined certificate authority roles each with its own set of associated tasks so you can give certain tasks to certain uh, administrator or users like that you can do it just like that the default role available are roles available as administrator certificate manager backup operators auditors and enrollee and this feature is only available on enterprise and data center edition of windows server 2012 or 2008 as well now next feature is certificate manager restrictions so this feature allows administrator to restrict certificate management to a specific certificate template even when the certificate manager have been assigned the issue and manage certificates permission at the certificate authority level so you can have certain uh, restrictions as well and this feature is also available on uh, like uh, enterprise or data center edition of windows server 2008 and 2000 12 now delegated enrollment agent restriction what is this this feature allows limiting the permissions that enroll agent have for enrolling smart card certificates on behalf of users and this is available on 2008 and allow enrollment agent to have rights to enroll on half of a specific user or group and this is also at available on enterprise edition and data center of 2012 and 2008 
now guys these are the features I talk about of Active Directory Certificate uh, service and before that I spoke about component of uh, Active Directory now I will talk about how Active Directory Certificate service integrates with Microsoft IDA solutions so Active Directory Certificate service is a server role that offer the component that provide the following public key infrastructure functions it provides lots of uh, functions I am just talking about all those things again and again in my every video certificate authority network uh, device enrollment sub uh, service online responder service and certificate authority web enrollment support and active directory certificate service is relied upon by all of the server 2012 or 8 ID a related roles in technologies such as ADC active directory domain service ADL desk lightweight domain service Patterson service rights management service and whatever we have in IDA it will support this active directory certificate will support all those things it will it will be integrated with that it has to work and uh, active directory certificate service issues the cert certificates required by these role and technologies to securely perform their respective functions so you can use for each and every activity like whatever I mentioned here certificate certificate uh, active directory certificate service and it will work so guys in this video this much information only I hope this will helpful for you guys if it is helpful please don't forget to subscribe my channel comment on this video share this video and like this video and uh, if you subscribe then you will be getting all the updated videos and don't miss to this click on this bell button so that you will be getting all the notifications here and uh, in next video guys I will be talking about certificate authorities difference between public and private certificate authority and advantages and disadvantages of certificate authorities so do subscribe channel and be with my videos and this is URL of my YouTube channel if you want to subscribe you can subscribe from here I mean you can go through this URL also or you can search me by name itself so guys this will be my next video and and, if I, and after that I will be talking about types of certification authorities in Windows Server 2012 standalone versus enterprise uh, certificate authority so if you subscribe then definitely you will be getting all the updated videos so till then bye bye guys